What is up, fam? It is me. It's your girl, MT Jans, coming back at you for guess what? Another daily vlog. What can I say? We're coming back. It's Tuesday, June twentieth, three nineteen p.m., and I have to work at five, so I gotta get my butt vlogging. So today's video is another story time video. I know I've done a lot of those recently, but. I don't have anything to do. I'm all alone, home, you know. I just work, come home, do nothing. And, uh, you know, I gotta start doing more. But, today I went outside to vlog and it was raining, so I'm sorry about the white walled, you know, videos and story times. I'm in the same place all the time, but it's raining outside and I couldn't go outside to film, so I'm sorry. But, also, if you're new to this channel or if you're old to this channel and still haven't done it yet, Please click the subscribe button right down there. It's red. It lets you know. It doesn't let you know when I post. That is the little gray bell right after you subscribe. You click that. You can turn my post notifications on. But I have a goal. Um, I have a goal for this channel and for myself to reach 50 subscribers by my birthday, June 23rd, which is in three days. Three days from now. It's this Friday. So if you could help me and please give me an amazing birthday gift of your subscription, that would be awesome. Help me reach my goal of 50 subscribers by my birthday. So if that would be lit, please subscribe. Also, if you'd watch my ads that are in this video, that would help me out a lot. Thank you. Okay, so today's video is about... Oh my god, I forgot it already. Today's video. I know what today's video is about, and it's because I'm holding it in my hand. It's about my phone. So, I got a Samsung Galaxy S6 in navy blue for my graduation present before I graduated high school. My mom got it for me, and I was super happy about it. I needed a new phone so bad, and so I got this phone that I'm currently filming on right now. And when I was about... Halfway through my freshman year of college, I dropped it in a puddle while talking on the phone with my mom. Now, that's a problem. Uh, phones and water don't mix. So, I was literally on the phone, I, dro I dropped my phone in the puddle, picked it up, said, Mom, I'll call you back, and I, like, tried to dry it off and get back to my room as fast as I can. But, another problem was my phone was at 2% at the time. It was dying, and there's no battery, so when it wasn't turning on... I, you know, tried to plug it in, it wouldn't charge because there was water in the charging port, and so I put it in rice for a few days. Now, the rice didn't work, but I took it to the Verizon store, and they have this, like, Verizon Redux thing where they put it in your machine in the phone, and it, like, shakes it all around, gets all the water out of it. So that's what I did. It helped, it made it turn on, it worked okay, there were still some glitches, some, like, little... You know, it would like change screens or like do double screens or like stuff like that. But it worked. It was a phone, you know, whatever. So after that happened, you know, that was good for the rest of the year. You know, summer passed. Everything was okay. I still had like, it was kind of a crappy phone, but like at least I had a phone. Um, and sophomore year of college comes around and I am at a party at my boy Trey Jenkins house. I shouted him out in a earlier vlog and he was in another one of my videos so if you want to watch that video it is on my channel just search empty jans on youtube and you will find it but we were at a party at his house it was western weekend which western you know west michigan university is our rival we are central michigan university and we have a football game every year that is head head battle for the bell, for bragging rights, you know, and we had a party after this Western weekend. Now, we had Western kids, we had CMU kids, we had kids from everywhere and everywhere, everywhere and anywhere, and there was just people everywhere. So, I had plugged my phone in at my boy Trey's house, you know, like, I wasn't worried about it, I was in the room at all times, you know, and, uh, it was fine, but... At the end of the night, when everybody was leaving, I go to check on my phone, see if anyone texted me, how how charged it was, and that thing was not there. That's right, someone stole my phone. My phone got stolen. I don't know how, I don't know if it was someone just like trying to steal phones because they knew people had, like a bunch of people had their phones plugged in, or if it was some 
um, person who was not in the right mindset, who um, didn't realize that it was my phone, not theirs, and accidentally grabbed it on their way out. Which could be a possibility, but here's another dilemma. It was also, my phone was also dying. It was dead. It was at like 12%. And, um, I don't know how I keep getting in these situations, but, um, yeah, my phone got stolen and it sucked really bad. So, after that, I, you know, we got that phone deactivated. I got a new phone from my insurance company. And within four days, like, literally, I got my phone on Monday, Thursday afternoon, I accidentally dropped my phone. I had not bought a case for it yet, but I had dropped it on the screen and the LED screen detached from the phone so I could not use it it was broken so I ended up getting a new phone another insured phone from my insurance company a refurbished repaired phone from someone else that broke it and they sent it in blah 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 so I got another one and it was fine for like two weeks three weeks and um, then it needed an update like a system update sophomore update what have you and so I updated my phone like I always do, and I had it plugged in this time, it was like fine on battery, you know, whatever, blah blah blah. And then it like was updating and like the screen went black and acted like it was turning back on, but like when it gets to like the black screen with the blue light right before it says Samsung, like it stayed there. Like it stayed there for an hour. And so I tried to turn it off, tried to turn it back on, tried to do anything with it, and it just stayed with the frickin' blue light on. Now, after a while, I learned to hate the blue light. I disguised that blue light. Why wouldn't that blue light just frickin' turn off, you know? Like, do something other than just stare at me and laugh at me, because now I have a broken phone that I can't have anything. You know, I can't do anything on it. I can't call anyone or text anyone. So this was at 3 in the morning, and I called my mom via Facebook Messenger on my laptop and told her what happened. And she could not believe it, I could not believe it. I contacted everyone and did looked everything up on Google that I could possibly look up to fix this freaking thing. And um, basically, uh, it just happens, you know? They call it system bricking and apparently when you turn off your phone or sometimes you know Samsung's or refurbished phones is a guess this has happened a couple times they will just stop working and completely shut down and brick themselves meaning you cannot work the device anymore they have to take the phone apart to unbrick it and you basically just need to get a new phone which I did so I finally get a new phone. Now, mind you, I had the phone that I got in water. That got stolen. Then I got the new phone, broke that phone, got this phone. This phone has been bricked. So I get a new phone, and I finally have a working phone. After a month, I'm like, okay, hopefully this thing doesn't break. You know, nothing bad is happening, blah, blah, blah. But guess what, guys? It freaking broke, okay? You know that that phone broke again. Yeah. Couldn't believe it either. But this one, you know, I would, you know, lock my phone, lock my phone screen and it would lock, but then I would like when I would go back to lock, like unlock it, get in my phone, do whatever, I'd press the home button, the screen would flip on immediately shut off. You know. Um, I would unlock it, you know, the screen would go up, I'd see my home screen, blah, 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 and then it would lock again. And, like, sometimes it would take, like, a good 10, 15 seconds to unlock, and then all of a sudden, the screen went dark and it wouldn't ever turn on again. <sighs> Talk about, like, literally, this was the biggest stressor in my life, my phone disaster, the biggest stressor in my life that at that moment in time like for those four months that I had to go through this like a couple like five times I got five phones in like three or four months you know like that was like my only not my only but my biggest problem at the time it was literally the worst so I got another phone the one that I have now and it's working great thanks I love this thing it's great I'm giving a little pat if you just if you uh. I don't know. That was weird. I'm sorry. But I got this new phone. I got a screen protector on it right away. I got a case. You know, I've been taking care of it. My phone is my baby now um, because of that situation. And, you know, just take care of your phones. Don't drop it in water. And if you do, make sure you have insurance. Like, 
like seriously get insurance get warranty spend you know the 50 extra dollars even if it's hard to like do this because like back to back to back to back to back that will happen and I did not get these phones for free when I got my insurance company stuff you know the first one was like a hundred and fifty dollars or something like that and then I had like the second one was a hundred and fifty and then we got them to like either put it on our bill and spread it out or like we just were like this is ridiculous give us a free phone so you know I got my phone everything's fine now that is it for today's story time vlog this daily vlog it's every day every single day there's not a day where it hasn't happened yet except for that one day and I vlog twice the next day, so. Alright guys, it is the end of the video. I hope that that was entertaining even a little bit. If you liked this video, give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below what you would like to see me vlog about, what videos you'd like to see me do, and any suggestions about me or my life. That would be dope. I will respond to every single comment. And if you haven't yet, even though I told you to at the beginning of the video, please subscribe to this channel. I'm trying to get to 50 by my birthday, which is this Friday, June 23rd. We only got three days, fam. I only need 16 of you to subscribe to my channel. So, if everyone who views this that hasn't subscribed yet subscribes, you know, I feel like we can make our goal within the next three and a half days. So... Please subscribe. Don't forget to turn my post notifications on. I will not be doing a shout out today because I don't know who to shout out. But if you'd like to be my shout out, go to my last Instagram picture, give it a like, and comment shout out. And everyone who does that, I will pick one of you from each video. And if people start doing that, I will do a shout out every single video. I will link your social medias in the description. And um, yeah, it'll be lit. So. All right, fam, that is it for today. It's your girl, MT Jans. Peace and out. Stay happy. Stay smiling. I got to go to work in a couple hours, so if you have to go to work at all, good luck at work. If you just got back from work, I hope that work went well, and if it didn't, I hope the rest of your day goes fantastic. All right, guys, I will see you later.